Hello friends, welcome to this playlist where we are using Azure Logic Apps to connect to Dynamics 365 finance and operations. In this video, we will do a OData get call from Logic Apps to finance and operations. Get call is like a read operations where we read data from the target system. So I'll start sharing my screen and let's get into the action. Cool. So in our first video, we registered an app and defined the application ID in finance and operations. In this video, let's start with creating a logic app. To do that, click on create a resource, select an integration resource logic app. I have created a resource group where I will be putting all these logic apps which we are creating as a part of this playlist. And let's call this OData get. Uh, we can't put underscore and let's put it in Australia Southeast and we select the plant type as consumption and we click on review and create. So what this will do is it will start creating a new logic app. Now, once the logic app is deployed, we will get a notification and you can see that was quite quick. We click on go to resource and now we are in the logic app designer. Now what happens here is we will start with a blank logic app and we will start with a trigger, which is basically an app running on a schedule. Let's just for the sake of this video, give it a, a logic app running at a three day interval, but that's not the objective. So now the objective here is for us to create that payload. We as we captured in our first video that we need some input parameters. So one thing which I find quite handy is we define these once as a variables so that we can reuse them whenever we want in our logic app workflow. So we will initialize some variables we will select this and we also rename it we initialize as variable let's call it what's our audience and this is of type string and our audience is the finance and operations base url then we define a new variable which is our tenant id which is of type string and in our case the tenant id is d365 ug india dot on microsoft dot com then we will initialize another variable which we want to call as client id and here we define the variable as type spring this is the value we copied from Azure app registration. And then the last variable is our secret value. Which is of type string. This is our value. So now we have initialized our variables and now we will do a HTTP get call. So we select a action of type HTTP. Now the method we want to call is get and the request URL is basically our root URL of dynamics slash data slash. Now this is the name of our data entity which we want to call. In this case we will use customer groups. Now in order to authenticate we will use a authentication type of OAuth 2.0. Here we have to give tenant ID. So as you can see here, it's it's pretty convenient to just select the variable instead of typing the whole text in the in the text boxes here. So audience is our audience, client ID is client ID, secret is secret, and that is it. We are ready with our logic app. Let's give it a test drive. So while once it's saved, we can run the trigger and let us see uh, the response. 
So here we can see the steps were executed successfully. The HTTP call, as you see, just took literally like zero seconds, so that was pretty fast. And here we can see that we did a get call on our resource with this particular credentials, and the output code is 200, which is success. And this is the response body. We can also click on show raw outputs to look at the payload which is re received from Dynamics. So here we can see that a body in the body we have got the array of all, all the records, and each of the record is in JSON format. Here we can see which legal entity and the customer group and related values. So this was a quick hello world scenario of using logic apps to do a uh, O data get call with finance and operation. In the next video, we will look at the other other calls. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.